So Tabidi Anabwile, he is a Southern Baptist pastor, um, former leader of Mark Dever's Nine Marks Ministry, um, pastor of Anacostia River Church, tweets out today that in 2018, there were 619,000 abortions in the U.S. Since March of 2020, there have been 654,000 COVID-19 related deaths. And then he poses the question, why do people rightly treat the first as a Holocaust, but treat the second as a hoax? So here we have a Southern Baptist pastor comparing abortion, the premeditated murder of innocent children to a sickness that is spread inadvertently by aerosol particles when someone coughs. All right, so uh, yeah, there are some people out there who are treating it as a hoax, but nobody is really treating it as a hoax. People do downplay it and say that it's not as serious as it's being made out to be. But here's the thing. Of those 619,000 abortions in the US, there are probably at least, and this is a conservative estimate, at least 10 times as many chemical abortions that are not factored into that number. That number generally only includes surgical abortions. All right, so you have all the, the morning after pills and the birth control pills and the chemical abortions that don't technically count in the medical field or in the abortion counts as abortions. All right, so we're really talking probably in the neighborhood of millions upon millions of innocent children murdered in the womb every year. And Tabidi and Abuile is comparing that to the deaths. Of, and let's say a very highly inflated death count of COVID-19. Now, James White responded to that. He said, well, that's a pretty easy one to beat. It is, it is one that only 10 years ago you would have understood plainly. And yes, he's right about that because to beat Anabwile used to be a gospel preacher. And now he is completely given to the social justice gospel, which is no gospel at all. According to Paul, it's a false gospel. He stands condemned. There is no way to inflate the first number, James White says, because abortion is purposeful, direct, clear, and intentional, and you pay to do it. But the second number, James White says, required altering how we fill out death certificates. Oddly, in March of 2020, so the distinction of dying with something and dying of something was changed. People die with dozens of different diseases, and often... Mortality is a result of a combination of a number of them. Now, from a medical perspective, that is absolutely correct. From a theological perspective, Tabidi Anabwile is out of his mind to even compare the two. Do you not realize the difference between a premeditated murder and an inadvertent spreading of a disease that nobody can stop. And by the way, the vaccines aren't having an effect on the spread of this virus. They're not, they're just simply not. Masks are having no effect. All the things that the social justice crowd wants us to do, wants us to submit to, are not having an effect. So doing all of these things is not going to 
have the effect of not making this what it, as what he's calling a holocaust. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Now, remember, this is the same Tabidi Anabwile that said back in 2016 when Bernie Sanders was running for president. A, uh, a, a conversation popped up on Twitter where Tabidi basically endorse Bernie Sanders as the best choice for African Americans <laughs> despite his pro-abortion pro-murder stance alright so it, it basically started with I wish I could have every African American voter read this and it's basically you know a, a Hillary Clinton um op-ed or something where, where it's just basically a bunch of leftist liberal nonsense and uh trillian newbell jumps on and says so curious who would you say would be a good candidate for the african-american vote if you can say and tabidi responds lol i've long been utterly disenchanted with national electoral politics but if i had to say right now it'd be sanders that's bernie sanders <laughs> All right, so then uh, somebody else responds, even from the limited question you are answering, this is wrong. African Americans' needs are not met if they can't make it out of the womb. Whoa. And he's absolutely right. Now, listen to what Tabidi Anabwile responded with. What about the living, friend? Have they no needs we ought to care about? That's what the question was about. So Tabidi and Abuile, he, he compares the quote unquote plight of African American people, which by the way is mostly made up in this environment that we live in. He compares that to the murder of innocent children in the womb. Um, think about that. You have a pastor who believes that social justice issues, reparations, redistribution of wealth, things like these are on par with the murder of millions of babies in the womb every year. Why are abortions referred to as a holocaust, but COVID-19 related deaths are not? I'll tell you why, Tabidi. Because abortion is murder. You don't treat it that way. Abortion is not a social justice issue. It is the taking, the premeditated taking of innocent human life illegitimately, and it is a, an attack on the image of God. It is an assault on God himself by assaulting his image. You cannot make that argument about any disease, COVID-19 or anything else. That is just absolutely preposterous. Absurd. And you need to repent.